Welcome back to another video and uh, I'm finally getting around to comparing the two uh, P90 Eastmans that I've got. So we've got the Soap Bar Lola P90s of the 56 and I believe the very same Lola P90s uh, but with a dog ear in the 64. So more on the whole Soap Bar dog ear thing later on but a couple of things just before we get into the comparison. Uh, we'll bounce back and forth for sort of 10 minutes or so. Every single thing you'll hear will be the same settings on a pedal, if I use a pedal, same settings on the amp. The only thing that will change is the guitar. Um, strings wise, they're both freshly restrung. However, uh, this one has Ernie Balls on, this one has Didario's on. Uh, the same gauge, but I've recently switched strings to string joy, so I just used uh, the last two of what I've got. But they're both freshly strung and, you know, like with all comparisons, you should take them with a pinch of salt, really, because there are so many variables. Uh, but we will, like I say, go back and forth and then uh, come back and share some more thoughts afterwards. <laughs>
So there you go then, you've heard, uh, heard both of these guitars a little bit. I'm curious to know which one you thought sounded better. I've, I've kind of got some thoughts on it. Um, to me, the bridge of the 56 was definitely brighter, had more sort of cut, arguably maybe even a bit more sort of clarity uh, than the bridge on the 64. And then when we went to the neck, I think it's the other way around, which I can't quite figure out. I think the neck on the 56 is darker and less clear, but the neck on this has a bit more brightness and is more clear. So it's kind of like opposite way around on the neck and bridge. Um, but in general, I think the 64 does just have a lot more, um, I don't know, it sort of more fullness, roundness, maybe more sort of harmonics kind of pinging off it. And I guess that's down to the construction, you know, we are after all comparing a solid body guitar to a completely hollow body guitar, you know, that is the main sort of difference here. And I do think that's part of why this thing sounds a little bit fuller and richer. Uh, and obviously acoustically, you know, there is no comparison. This thing is twice the volume of, of this, but in some ways they were kind of closer than I thought to each other, especially when you start winding the gain on like we did at the end, you know, I mean, that's the thing. When you start putting that much drive on, like I said, we had the revival drive there, um, you know, wound up on the gain pretty high sort of thing. And the differences then start sort of start fading away kind of thing. But I, d I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to pick a favourite. I think in general, playing on your own, I definitely think the 64, it, it's a little bit more inspiring to play. It just has more kind of going on. But the 56 is unique and different enough to it to kind of come back to and and really kind of feel that they're, they are so, so, so different kind of thing. And I think whereas this, with this one being the solid body, when we tried to get sort of pseudo fender -y sounds, uh, when we were in the middle, I kind of tried to get like a pseudo telly thing going on. Um, and then we did that little bit of Hendrix sort of stuff with a, with a Univibe on. I think neither sounded like a strap, by the way, I'm not going to say that. But this one, I think, got closer to it being the solid body. It just had a little bit more um, sort of, I don't know, that kind of sound uh, to it. But when it comes to, I said earlier on, these are the same two pickups. But obviously the difference being the soap bar and um, dog ear covers. And obviously that's different in the way it looks, but it's actually significantly different in another way because the P90 soap bars, they're a lot easier to adjust the heights on. And the P90s on this one are definitely closer to the strings uh, than the much more difficult to adjust dog ears of this one. So, you know, definitely bear that in mind as well because pickup heights, you know, has a lot to do with with how a guitar is going to sound kind of thing. Playability wise between these two, it's hard to say which one sort of plays easier because again, they're so different. The 56 has a much, much bigger neck uh, than the 64, which itself has a bigger neck than say uh, the 59, the T59. So they're both super comfortable, but the 56 is definitely bigger. Obviously this one, is more familiar it's a bit more sort of common the les paul thing you've got access down here my little finger now is on the what 22nd fret there and if i did the same on this one because of where the neck joint is um, i'd have to reach right over the guitar so if you're playing up here obviously this one's going to be a lot easier to play uh, than this one but weight wise and bear in mind eastman are always pretty light but this is six pound one ounce uh, I forget the weight of this one off the top of my head. I think it was £8.7 or something like that. So over £2 difference in weight between the two. So, you know, a light guitar just always feels naturally more comfortable, I think. So, you know, 64 has it on that. But then obviously you've got the body size. 64 is quite big. Some people don't like that. Um, me personally, it doesn't bother me. But so it, it's, it's hard to say. I, I kind of want to know what you guys thought of the comparisons and just in general visually um you know which two of these guitars kind of vibes with you the most and obviously i went for the 56 first um over the 64 at the time but all i can really say at the end of this is you know how sort of happy i am to, to own them really like it's taken me we're at the three year point now of eastman to get the uh get the couple of eastman electrics that i've got and i've uh you know i've no intention of selling any of them i think each of them do 
a really unique job. They all have a certain feel, sound, look and vibe to them. And I, I still just think, you know, that it, for the money, there, there just isn't anything better than, than these type of guitars, these Eastman guitars. Um, so like I said, let me know what you think and I will see you again very, very soon.